Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2023 Heartland Prowler 240 SRB travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of the RV, kind of show you what it's all about here. This is a non-slide out couples coach, lighter weight. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 Heartland Prowler 240 SRB. As you've seen on the floor plan that was just up, this is a rear bathroom, front bedroom, kind of couple's coach. Really only set up for two people and the occasional guest as the sofa and dinette will both make beds. But let's start back here in the back for you and then we'll kind of work our way forward. So we have a swing door entering into the bathroom area. On the immediate left side here, we have shower with ABS tub surround, skylight up above, and a pull across curtain set up there. And it does have a little tub, so you could probably do, I'd say, a small child in there, but it's probably, I'd say, I don't know, 14 inches deep roughly, somewhere in that range. So if you did have a little grandbaby or something with you, that would be usable. Foot flush toilet, a decent amount of floor space back here. We have a window in the back that does open. There's actually an AC duct in here too, so you're not having to come in here and do an oven and do your business. It's pretty nice. You have a fan up there. Over here on the left side, it's a decent amount of room. Probably goes back, I'd say 14, 16 inches, something. Uh, basically giving you some room for your linens. On the side of the uh, sink area here, we have an electric outlet, which is a ground fault breaker, but it is also prepped for inverter wiring as well. So if you wanted to put an inverter for off the grid camping, it'll run some of your electric outlets. And you have your water heater, gas, electric buttons, water pump, and your monitor panels for your holding tanks. And there's also a little bit of storage underneath of the sink area as well. Now looking back into the kitchen living room area here, there is a nice big window behind your sofa area. A little overhead shelf space back here as well. There are two speakers in here. Currently using a Coleman ducted AC on the RV. Jackknife sofa, which does have the little flip down armrest part with cup holder in the middle. And that will actually flip down into a bed, again, if you have a guest with you. And also there's storage underneath of it as well. It is all linoleum floor throughout the RV. Directly across from the sofa area here, you do have a little dinette area. That dinette will also go down and make into a bed, and there is some storage underneath of each seat as well. Another big window, that window there does open, and that's basically looking out your awning side or door side of the RV. TV area just above that, so you can mount your nice size TV right there. Uh, do a little wall backer or swing arm, whatever you want to kind of put up there. But there's also some storage on each side as well. And it does have an HDMI cable that comes out from the stereo part of it, as this actually does have a radio. A lot of brands have started doing away with the radios and just putting in Bluetooth in them. But you do have an actual radio in the RV as well with an HDMI input, some auxiliary inputs as well. They are currently using the Everchill 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Do you have the electric box with the breakers and fuses down below as well? But you have refrigerator part on bottom and the freezer part on top. 
Now, this refrigerator is a little unique compared to some of the others, as you can actually open it from either side. So that's kind of cool, a little different. There's some storage below your sink area and along with some full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. They're using an air fryer instead of a gas oven down here. So that's a little different. And then you do have a three burner gas stove top. Does have the little light up knobs or the oven light as well, or air fryer light, I guess I should say. Flip back glass lid that just kind of folds back and acts as a backsplash. Three burner propane stove top. Hood range light and fan, traditional microwave. And then over here, you have a pretty good amount of storage as well. Plenty of room and deep enough for full size plates. High rise faucet. And then again, you'll notice this one has the sticker on it, but that one over there doesn't. That one is inverter prepped in case you do want to do some off the grid stuff. Have a little ledge area right here so you can maybe put some of your cooking spices and stuff like that in there. Traditional RV entry door and screen door. Down here, more storage. But if you're looking for something that's not super long and heavy, this is a decent little couples coach here that you can get in and out of a lot of parks compared to some of those really big RVs that I typically video. So over there, another window, emergency exit, does open up to get some airflow through here. There's TV hookups on the ceiling up there. So you got your cable outlet and electric outlet up there. And you got a backer in the wall so you could mount your TV. Very, very important not to go through the exterior part of the wall when mounting though. The walls are only, I want to say roughly about two inches thick. So be a little careful on your screw size. Now here's something that's pretty cool too. They have little USB charger ports right here. Little uh, wireless charger ports, I should say, not USB. Um, but they are wireless charger ports. So you have one on that side and then there is another one on this side. So they thought about both of you instead of just one person because a lot of them just do one and typically the couple each has their own cell phone. Electric outlet on each side of the bed as well. Hanging closet on each side of the bed as well. And then you have overhead shelf space. Window over there does open as well. A slide across door for privacy. Heat ducts you'll notice are coming out the sides of either walls or cabinets. They are not through the floor. Now the bed does raise up and there is some storage underneath the bed as well. But overall, a nice new look for the 2023 Heartland Prowler here. And some good improvements as well over last year from the air fryer, the solid surface countertops that I forgot to mention. This is kind of a stone style countertop. Uh, you know, one large undermount stainless sink. They're going to fiberglass aluminum studded sidewalls. And if you want aluminum siding, wood construction on your sidewalls, they have the Prowler Links now, uh, which is a little bit less uh, price wise. So they're gonna have two versions. Now I do want to step outside real quick. I wanna show you around the outside. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Heartland Prowler 240 SRB travel trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side. We're gonna kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have the new white fiberglass 
uh, exterior here. This is a laminated sidewall to Asdale composite material instead of a wood Luan backer. Foam block insulation and basically an upgrade over their traditional Prowler Lynx version. Both are nice, but two different price points depending on what you want to spend. You have power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV. You have adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff and a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You do have deep tent safety glass windows. The entry door and this uh, baggage door here are both held back by magnetic holders instead of plastic clips, which I do really like less stuff to break. Pretty good amount of storage space right here. You have a light on the side here, a couple crank handles as well. You can also see some of that aluminum tube framing up there. Now just kind of looking down below here, you can see we have power stabilizer jacks. There's a gas line hookup right down there as well. Enclosed underbelly also. Now they're currently using the Lippert solid entrance step here. This comes down, touches the ground, rated for 400 pounds. Adjustable feet, uh, so you can kind of adjust it to the terrain. Large folding entry handle. You also have two outdoor speakers. There is an electric outlet and cable outlet here, so you could put your TV outside. Also, you'll notice some little advertisement stickers here talking about the H-Blast AC duct system. 30,000 BTU furnace uh, with enclosed underbelly, three-year limited structural warranty. Most, a uh, lot of RV brands are just one. Some have gone to three year, but some are just one. Asdale reminder there about that really nice improvement to construction and the unit is solar ready. What that basically means is it has prepping to the roof for a, sol a solar panel and it also has a solar charge controller in it as well. You'll see when we get to the other side over there. So it's all pretty much set up to where you could add a solar panel if you want and also add an inverter if you want as well to run some of your electric outlets. Down below here, you can see again, rear power stabilizer jacks, hot and cold low point water drains right there as well. Traditional flat back fiberglass rear end. You have the four inch square tube bumper, spare tire mounted on the back, cable inlet right here. If you go to a campground that has cable, you can plug in here. Um, also, there is prepping in the top center up there for a Lippert, I'm sorry, a Furion um, observation camera. Having a brain fart here. Um, the Furion observation camera right there. That is a really nice safety feature to allow you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or when you're backing into your campsite. Talk with a salesperson about that. Nice feature to consider adding. In the back corner back here, we have the prepping for the Lippert Stow and Go portable ladder. And you could buy that aftermarket. It basically attaches and telescopes down, allowing you to get up and down on and off your roof if you need to. But the nice part is it telescopes into a small ladder, throw it in a storage compartment, kind of forget about it. You don't have to worry about somebody's kid or nosy person climbing up on your roof, possibly falling off and getting hurt. City water inlet goes right here, and then you also have your black tank flush to clean out the toilet tank. Hot and cold outside utility shower there. Down below is your gray and black tank dump for your bathroom. You also have your electric jack button right here as well. Detachable power cord. This is a 30 amp electric service on this particular unit, and that cord's stretching out probably close to 30 feet long. There is the stove exhaust right here at the top. Open the flapper in it before you start cooking to make sure the smoke actually goes out. You have a gravity fill fresh water tank and it fills up right next to your electric outlet here. Then you have your furnace exhaust out here, your six gallon gas electric water heater right here. Step back so you can see the whole side of the RV here. 
Just kind of a quick peek up there at the top. You can see that round dome in the front. That is the WineGuard Air 360 Plus. What that plus basically means to you is it's prepped and wired so you could add the gateway connect feature to it and subscribe to say AT&T or Verizon or somebody like that and basically be able to pull in a Wi-Fi connection off the cell phones and stuff, cell towers. Uh, so that's something to consider if you're going to be out doing a lot of traveling. You can have a wireless internet system with you. That black thing in the top center up there is the AC. Very important to get up there from time to time and check out your seams and seals and stuff, by the way. Make sure you maintain your roof. Very, very important. Just in front of the axles here is another gray tank or galley tank. Sometimes they refer to it as to dump it. That is for the kitchen sink area. Right here, we have battery disconnect in here, solar charge controller, another light, but then you also have this little pre-wire setup for a Tire Links aftermarket connector that you can buy. And that right there would monitor your tire pressure while you're driving down the road. Something again, safety feature to consider when you are uh, you know, looking at these type of RVs. Basically you get that again from Lippert or talk with your salesperson about that and they'll be able to help you out. Now the front of the RV has a really nice rounded curve you can see as well. It's not the traditional flat front like you see on old school RVs. So a nice rounded front. The front is an aluminum front with a lower diamond plate metal. You have two 20 pound propane tanks. You also have the power jack with the manual override and a light built in. There is heavy duty safety change, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, breakaway cable. You also have what they call the vault right here, which has some of your wiring stuff in it and battery disconnect setup as well. There's room on this rack right here for one or two batteries, depending on the size of the batteries that you want to go with. It comes with zero batteries from the RV maker. However, it does come with at least one deep cycle battery from Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. If you're not buying from them and overpaying somewhere else, make sure they at least give you a battery. Very, very important. All right, guys, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV video. Really do appreciate it. Please be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.